and this is at 145. 145, just to be clear for the viewing and listening audience as we get set to start off our, I call it the bread and butter, the meat and potatoes, if you will, Fred. <laughs> this is where we separate the boys from the men. The pretenders from the contenders. Oh, These are three five-minute rounds, by the way. Right. I talked with Lou. He's very excited. He's excited for the whole card, but uh, very excited for the main, the title fights. Uh, he worked really hard putting these guys together, and his philosophy is tough fights make great fighters, and uh, Mike Santiago versus Kenny Foster is no exception. Uh, I cannot wait to see them get down to work. So we take a look at Santiago already inside the cage as we await Kenny Foster. Kenny Foster is one of those feisty fighters because you look at him on paper and you know he's got one of those records that it, it, it doesn't really jump out at you but this kid i've watched him fight several times and he's just an extremely well-rounded and just really a talented heck of a fighter and by the way a guy that again record wise might be 11 and 8 so much cage side but I gotta be honest, it's the nickname I love the most about this kid, aka the Tooth Fairy. All right, let's get this one underway. This is for the 145 Featherweight Ring of Combat East Coast title. For the introductions, Peter Neglia. Ladies and gentlemen, Lou Neglia's Ring of Combat on his 50th anniversary show at the Tropicana now presents live the first of its seven championship belts. This for the vacant. Ring of Combat East Coast Featherweight Championship. Three five-minute rounds of mixed martial arts. A six round if necessary. The bout sponsor is Providence of Atlantic City. Controlling the action in the middle of the ring is Keith Peterson. This bout is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Commissioner Larry Hazard, Jr. Introducing first from the low corner, out of team top notch. Trained by Mac Ramos. Wearing the black trunks with the white lettering, he weighed at 147 pounds. From Chicago, Illinois, welcome, please, Mike Little Bully Santiago. And ready for battle out of the red corner, out of Max and BJJ. Trained by Joe Monahan. Wearing the black multicolor shorts, he weighed at 146 pounds. From Selden, Long Island, welcome, please, Kenny Foster. So it's going to be Kenny Foster in the longer black trunks against Mike Santiago in the black tights. This is slated for three fives for the Ring of Combat featherweight East Coast title. I'll tell you one thing about Mike Santiago that stands out right away. This kid is 25 years age. He turned pro in 2010, already 21 fights. He equated to a young fighter, consistency, and they're just moving him along. Busy fighter, Atlanta, did he already? See him Santiago. Kenny Foster down, but right back up again. Foster 11 and 8. Can beat you in a variety of ways. Submissions, decisions, limited knockout power, but still had a real nice win over Andy Main back in June. He's a Bellator vet. Yep. yep. I asked him to uh, describe his fighting style. He says he's a wrestler slash boxer. Yep. Uh, it doesn't matter where this fight goes. He's comfortable all across the board. Pete Peterson watching the action inside the game. For this first of seven title fights at the Tropicana Resort Casino in Atlantic City. Santiago momentarily had Foster pressed up against the cage. Little roll reversal now. Santiago pressing Foster up against the cage, trying to get body lock in, see if he can get a takedown. Peterson reminds him to get that left hand off that cage. Now I got to link this audio. Audio engine. Early on, he's going to give. I don't know, I have to do my own. Clean takedown, nonetheless. Oh, there you have it. Yes, Lee. He's got the lead again. Foster now, asserting himself a little more. Oh, my goodness, an attack out! That was quick. Oh, mercy me! Didn't even see that one coming! And you're new! Ring of Combat, East Coast featherweight champ. Is that man right there? He's a little man in the cage. Oh, he's a nasty boy. That was quick. 
Wow, Mike Santiago, <laughs> the guillotine. <laughs> it looked like a guillotine, and it happened so fast. And one wonders how fast and effective it really was, and that pressure like that on Foster. It had to be real tight as we take a look in. A brilliant move, and it was set up. Shoot okay, up against see, the cage. It there like it is. Left arm is right yeah, oh, you saw it right there. Wow. That was tight. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Wow. Another note, oh, by the way, for Santiago, entering this fight, 11 of his last 14 fights have ended in the first round. He was 6-5, and five, make it 12-15 of 15 now. He's 7-5 and five in those fights. It was fast. It was furious. Goodness. That was, you know, that was a fast-paced fight, but that, that, stop, that stoppage, that was quick. That was really quick. That is sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> that, is, that is very sneaky. All right, let's make it official. Go inside the cage to Peter Naglia. Ladies and gentlemen, that battle stopped at one minute and 33 seconds of round one by way of a top to the guillotine. The winner coming out of the blue corner and our new ring of combat, featherweight champion, Mike 